The Tale of Hupfai the Hopping Egg by J.F. Cromer. The hopping egg Hupfai was tired of life. His new baby egg brother only shouted and cried. His mother approved of his new plan to try his hand as a traveling egg man. He hopped his way through the one day wood, hoped his new venture would turn out good. Didn't know quite yet his travels could turn deadly, but the first set of eyes watching him were friendly. Mr. Squirrel and Hoopfy bonded at the fire. He had friends untold, eagles who can fly high. A whole network of squirrels, if Hoopfy needed, said by next day at Wood's Edge and Mr. Squirrel retreated. Drab and dreary, City crushed Hoopfy's spirit. He looked at his empty wallet and wondered how to fill it. Hopped himself at dark to a park outside town. Knew in his short life he'd never felt so down. Rocco needed help at his farm. They shook hands and knew neither meant any harm. Rumors abounded of a greedy dragon around. As he slept by day, Hoopfy resolved to hop over his grounds. While the dragon slept, Hoopfy saw a vision. Why would that lovely egg stay secluded and hidden? He learned from Rocco the name of the egg dame. Couldn't get Princess Fifi off the brain. The more he learned, the sicker he got. Could see why no one had ever shot their shot. He resolved in his heart to wound that dragon. Would rescue his love, but how could he make it happen? Rocco watched in amusement at the egg so bold. Hupfai didn't care if he wouldn't grow old. Took up his arrow and focused his gaze, willing to finish his life in a blaze. He asked Mr. Squirrel to arrange a flight, would send Princess Fifi safely off into the night. The eagles would come and everyone get paid. He could show her finally he wanted her saved. Princess Fifi hopped in the basket but wanted too much to keep the pieces of her prisoner life and her most precious stuff. They stumbled with her vanity, which crashed on the ground, and the dragon cool opened an eye at the sound. A breath of hot fire scorched his eggy side. Hupfai thought for sure this time he'd be fried. He peeked around the corner with a wary eye and turned to talk to Cool, despite his pride. Hupfai lied and said his yoke was dangerously acidic. Cool scoffed, guffawed, and called him a menace. The egg offered a deal he couldn't refuse, guarding the hoard at night for his life, Hupfai's only good ruse. When the duties at the farm were not so pressing, he took a trip to see how she was a blessing to his mom working and selling eggs at the market. Hipfai tried to think straight, but just couldn't help it. He spoke with Rocco and a deal was made, had the right to a few sheep out on the range. Once they bred, he could sell a few rams, started thinking of his chances to be Fifi's egg man. The pigeon post helped keep them together but of course seeing her in person was much better. He popped the question on a day of fine weather. The two lovebird eggs decided they were ready for forever. With the money from the sale of the fat sheep, Hupfai and Rocco cut down a few trees. He traveled to build Fifi a home, finally something safe she could call her own. Cool told Hupfai his, his time as helper was up, would have to go up the tower and get locked up. Hupfai said all he needed was a jester, who would help him on nights when the loneliness festered. Hupfai laid his weapons down as the animals came to steal, wondered if any of them would like to make a deal, to work for the dragon and chill on the horde, be ready to talk nonsense if Cool got a bit bored. The one day wood never kept them apart. He married his love and learned the art of expanding his idea of what friendship means and all the nuances of life's odd in-betweens. The end. <laughs>